Hi, I'm Bruce Fassbinder, and welcome to CTC TV. Joining me is co anchor Latia Blue. Thanks, Bruce. This month, we'll recognize CTC employees for their years of service, as well as our co workers of the year, and visit with our speech team. We'll also see what was cooking with our culinary arts students, and we'll celebrate with our new Police Academy graduates. All this and more on CTC TV. Wherever you are in the world, Central Texas College can turn your potential into success. Our students are active duty military and veterans. They're looking to move up in the ranks and into the workforce, overseas and stateside. CTC awards credit for military service and offers classes online and on military installations. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world. Central Texas College recently held its annual service award ceremony to recognize those employees who reached their service anniversary date last year and who have at least 10 years of service. Nearly 70 employees with a combined 1,020 years of service received commemorative service pins and gifts. Topping the list of award recipients was the voice of CTC and KNCT, Max Rudolph, with 35 years of service. Max, an alumni of CTC, serves as a KNCT TV radio general manager and department chairperson of the Radio Television Broadcasting Academic Department. Also honored for 35 years of service was Curtis Gibson, department chairperson of the Aviation Science Department, and Terry O'Connor, IT infrastructure support specialist with the IT department. Honored for 30 years of service was Angela Mars, also with the IT department. Recognized for 25 years of service were Kirsten Brooks, Associate Dean of the Central and Service Area Campuses and the Weekend and Evening College, Michelle Carter, Deputy Chancellor, Finance and Administration, Gregory Lineber, Associate Dean of Deployed Sites, Kathleen McDonald, Coordinator of College Development with the CTC Foundation, and Syed Rabani, Physics Professor in the Physical Science Department. Six employees were honored for 20 years of service, along with 22 employees with 15 years of service. 33 employees reached their 10-year service milestone this year as well. Congratulations to each of these employees. Also during the ceremony, the academic and non-academic employees of the year were announced. Eric Smith of the Continental Campus was named the Hourly Employee of the Year, and Lacey White of the Pacific Far East Campus was named the Salary Employee of the Year. At the Central Campus, the Salaried Academic Employee of the Year is Marilyn Mapes, kinesiology instructor, and the salaried non-academic employee of the year is Carolyn Williams, coordinator of records and registration. The Central Campus Hourly Academic Employee of the Year is Colleen Willis, Officer Specialist Two of Business Administration, and the Hourly Non-Academic Employee of the Month is Milagros Rodriguez, Clerk Three of Records and Registration. The Central Campus Department of the Year is the Child Development Center. Jim Yiannopoulos selected William Duggar of Facilities Management as his Chancellor Award winner. The CTC Alumni Association Award was presented to Rick Whitesell, Chief Flight Instructor in the Aviation Science Department. And the Students' Choice Award winner for Favorite Faculty Member was Jordan Smith, Speech Professor in the Communications Department. Congratulations to all of the winners and nominees. At the end of the fall 2016 semester, the CTC Nursing Department held pinning ceremonies for students completing the associate degree in nursing and licensed vocational nursing programs. 34 students received their ADN pins, while 18 students were honored during the LVN ceremony. Students were pinned by selected nursing faculty members. And the pin symbolizes a medal of excellence and the passage of the role of a student nurse to that of a practicing nurse. During the associate degree ceremony, Elizabeth Galt, Kimber Gordon, Beatrice Green, Savannah McMahon, Tammy Morrison, Jessica Prince, Megan Rinson, Marcy Shelton, and Mary Yatkus were recognized as honor graduates for maintaining a grade point average in their nursing classes between 3.5 and 3.7 in their nursing courses. Earning high honor graduates was Rachel Heinzel, who, managed a, who maintained a grade point average between 3.8 and 4.0. Also recognized were Mary Chavez, who received a gift card from Scrubtopia Medical Outfitters, and Mary Actus received a Monarch Uniform gift card. Students in the LVN program also received awards and recognition for academic success. Students graduating with honors were LaWanda Dixon and Yesenia Lorta, 
And earning a gift certificate from Scrubtopia was Nicole Bisaha, and Reginald Nazaire won a gift card from Monarch Uniforms. Brittany Cisneros was presented a $200 scholarship from the National Federation of Licensed Professional Nurses. Another tradition associated with both pinning services is a candle lighting ceremony. Each nursing graduate and faculty member is presented a candle which is lit before citing the nurse's pledge, which serves as a professional mission statement reflecting the deep-seated vision and values of nursing. The Central Texas College Sigma Iota Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society held an induction ceremony in the fall semester to recognize 11 students as its newest members. Each new member recited the Honor Society oath and signed the membership book before being presented a yellow rose in their membership certificate. Ten more members were selected for the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society during the summer semester and will partake in an induction ceremony in the upcoming spring semester. Phi Theta Kappa recognizes academic success of students at two-year colleges and provides opportunities for individual growth and development through honors, leadership, and service programming. It is the largest honor society in American higher education with more than 2.5 million members and 1,275 chapters across the country and the world. The American Association of Community Colleges recognizes Phi Theta Kappa as the official honor society of two-year colleges. Students in the fall semester public speaking classes participated in the second annual Speaker Showcase. Eight students, including three in the Early College High School program, earned a place in the final round where they presented speeches using various speaking formats such as persuasive and informative speaking. Brittany Dumont won first place for her informative speech, Crohn's Disease, and in second place was Jordan Young for her entertainment speech entitled, Dear Past Me. Third place was awarded to Don Davis for a persuasive speech about domestic violence. Honorable mention certificates were presented to Andre Butler for his informative speech, Homeland Terrorism, Casey Doan, who gave an informative speech entitled ESL, Isabella Chavez for her informative speech, My Teen Angst, Chelsea Phillips and her informative speech, A Fairy Among Us, and Bryce Barker for his persuasive speech entitled Your Health and Tether Cord Syndrome. In related news, the CTC speech team held a holiday speech affair late in the fall semester. The end of semester speech extravaganza was designed for students to display their speaking skills in a variety of formats, from dramatic performances and extemporaneous speeches to persuasive and parliamentary style debates. Deja Higgins performed two Christmas-themed entertainment speeches. Mitchell Walker gave an informative speech, while Jesus Perez and Daryl Combs debated about advertising versus Christmas music on radio stations. Isabella Chavez performed an informative piece entitled, My Teen Angus, for which she received an honorable mention award during the second annual CTC Speakers Showcase last month. And Cat Victory closed the affair with a moving speech about an autistic child and his parents. The CTC Forensic Squad will compete in a series of speech tournaments during the spring semester. Students interested in becoming a part of the team can contact Jordan Smith in communications department at 254-526-1404. And shortly after the spring semester started, the Student Success and Persistence Department hosted a Welcome Back Bash and Resource Fair to further assist new students as well as returning students. The event provided direct access to representatives from a variety of available student services so students can obtain the information and resources needed to enhance their college-going experience. In addition to valuable information, the Mardi Gras themed event also offers students a chance to partake in free food, live music and entertainment, prize giveaways and more. Prior to the first day of the spring semester, the CTC Student Life Department held an orientation for all freshmen and students new to CTC. Following a welcome from school administrators, students learned valuable information about campus policies, procedures, available student services, campus clubs and organizations, and general information to help them be successful during their time at CTC. A breakout session was also held enabling students to meet representatives from academic departments, guidance and counseling, the campus library, and other services. The orientation concluded with a campus tour. Students in the Culinary Arts program ended the fall semester with a cooking contest. Based on the reality TV show Chopped, 15 students were tasked with creating an appetizer, entree, and a dessert using a different secret tray of four food items in each round. The food items were not revealed until the competition began, which forced each student to think quickly and creatively in their preparation. In the first round, contestants had 30 minutes to prepare an appetizer using marshmallows, cranberries, adamame, and shrimp. 
Seven students were chopped in the first round, leaving eight to compete in the entree round. The four food items for the entree round were pork loin, bananas, Colombian coffee, and ranch dressing. After the 45-minute round, four students were left for the final round of preparing a dessert. The finalists were Martha Cruz, Jenny Furlow, Brandon McLean, and Markeisha Neal. Each had 45 minutes to prepare a dessert using serrano peppers, elbow macaroni, jicama, and balsamic reduction. The re judges then selected the top three desserts as the overall winner of the competition. The first place gold medal winner was Markeisha Neal, who won a gift basket containing a cookbook and various cooking items. The silver medal winner was Brandon McLean, and the third place bronze medal was presented to Martha Cruz. The judges for the competition were Claire Hafner, taste section editor for the Colleen Daily Herald, Louis Grillon, uh, executive chef at the Courtyard Marriott in Colleen, and Rick Heinemann, CTC Hospitality Department chairperson. CTC's Culinary Arts Program holds a voluntary cooking contest at the end of each semester. The next competition is the Iron Chef Contest to be held at the end of this spring 2017 semester. It features teams of students using the same secret ingredient in an appetizer, entree, and dessert round. Public television station KNCT recently began broadcasting a new children's programming channel, PBS Kids 24-7, on channel 46-2. A live stream is available also online at pbskids.org to make it easy for children to watch their favorite series during prime time and other after-school hours when viewing among families is high. Across digital platforms, PBS Kids averages 419.8 million streams per month. The new PBS Kids 24-7 channel and live stream ensure educational media is available to all families all the time through a platform that works for them. The PBS Kids 24-7 channel includes a variety of favorite and popular children's programming. KNCT will provide the PBS Kids 24-7 channel in addition to its current primary PBS channel, Channel 46, which, is, which will continue to feature a PBS Kids Day Part. PBS stations reach more kids aged 2 to 5, more moms with children under 6 years old than any other kids' TV network. PBS Kids 24-7 is a great addition to KNCT's lineup and will help ensure the station's proven educational content is accessible anytime and anywhere to all kids, especially those who need it the most. Central Texas College held a series of forums to seek input from students and employees on Senate Bill 11, better known as the Campus Carry Law, which goes into effect August 1st. The new law authorizes students and employees to carry concealed guns on campus. CTC administrators have adopted a draft policy which was presented during the forums and allowed students and employees to weigh in on the policy. The main areas of concern were the buildings and locations to be designated gun-free zones and the distinction between a gun being loaded and having a chambered round. CTC's campus carry policy remains in draft form as all suggestions and comments from the forms are being considered. The policy will then be presented to the Chancellor and then the Board of Trustees for approval. Once approved at that level, it will then be presented to the State of Texas for final approval and authorization. Senate Bill 11 will take effect August 1st of this year. The CTC Continuing Education Department hosted a wellness event just for the health of it at the end of January to introduce its many wellness and exercise classes to the public. The free event enables guests to meet the instructors, register for classes, and participate in brief demonstration classes such as tribal grooves and belly dancing. Continuing Education offers classes designed to get you up and moving and add quality to your life for everyone and for every fitness level. Classes include Zumba, core strength and conditioning, water fitness, indoor cycling, yoga, and senior water aerobics. In addition, CTC Continuing Education also offers a variety of dance classes such as belly or oriental dance, tribal grooves, urban line dancing, as well as self-defense courses and massage therapy. For more information, call CTC Continuing Education at 254-526-1586 or visit ctc.edu forward slash CE online. Spring break is only weeks away and to help send a safety message to students as they take a week-long break from their studies, the Campus Substance Abuse Resource Center will host its annual Spring Break Safety Awareness event on Wednesday, March 8th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Anderson Campus Center. The event will feature several guest speakers and also give students a chance to steer a DUI simulator which is designed to give them a first-hand look at the dangers of drinking and driving. 
Using impairment or drunk goggles, the simulator is much like a video game as students steer through a driving experience at various levels of simulated drunken impairment. Campus police will also offer demonstrations. The event is free and open to all students. This year's spring break is March 13th through 17th, at which time the CTC Central and Fort Hood campuses will be closed. The Central Texas College Police Academy held a graduation ceremony recently for 17 cadets who completed the Basic Peace Offers course. All graduates passed the state licensing exam prior to graduation with a class average of 90. They are eligible now to become peace officers in Texas. The Basic Peace Officer course is usually open to those who are interested in becoming a police officer and are currently affiliated with the law enforcement agency. This was the first time the course was open to those not sponsored by a law enforcement agency. The eight cadets without sponsorship soon found job opportunities with the local and law enforcement agencies. Several awards were presented during the graduation ceremony. John Bowman Jr. of the Copperas Cove Police Department was recognized as class president and also received the Academic Honor Graduate Award. B. Charles Chuck Dinwid Dinwiddie, Top Gun Award for the Best Firearms Performance was won by Corey Fiesler of the Copperas Cove Police Department. The Best Instructor Award, as voted on by the cadets, was presented to Sergeant Stephen O'Neill of the Copperas Cove Police Department. Guest speaker for this ceremony was Eddie Wilson, Chief of Police of the City of Copperas Cove. During the 19-week Basic Peace Officer course, cadets are subjected to numerous written exams and extensive hands-on training in defensive tactics, firearms, and police vehicle operation. Their classroom work included learning about the Texas Penal Code, Texas Traffic Code, criminal investigation, stress management, problem solving, and more. CTC's Police Academy also offers an extended Peace Officer course for anyone wishing to become a Peace Officer in the state of Texas. Information on both, on both courses can be found on the CTC website under Protective Services or by calling 254-526-1507. The Fine Arts Department offers its latest art exhibit entitled My Journey in the Upstairs Art Gallery of the Campus Library. The mixed media assemblage features the works of Myrna Hawkins, an employee in the CTC Guidance and Counseling Office. Hawkins' exhibit includes watercolor, woodblock prints, pencil, and three-dimensional pieces. Each piece represents what was going on during a particular time in her life. During a recent, during a recent Meet the Artist reception, Hawkins said her art is meant to be thought-provoking both visually and conceptually. Her main focus of art study is in ceramics, followed by metal art. Other areas of focus include printmaking, watercolor, and three-dimensional arts. Hawkins has been heavily influenced by African, Indian, and Mexican art as she is fascinated with their shapes, use of colors, materials, and complexity of design patterns. My Journey is free and open to the public during regular CTC library hours. The Central Texas College Foundation is now accepting applications online for scholarships to be awarded in fall 2017 and spring 2018 semesters. Students can apply online now through 11.59 p.m. on March 31st, and the scholarships will be awarded near the end of the spring semester. If you are going to be enrolled in CTC, I would encourage you to apply online for our scholarships every year that you plan to be enrolled. Um, we we reevaluate those scholarship awards every year, so you need to apply every year so that you have a chance. You can't get a scholarship if you don't apply for it. It's just one application, and filling out that online application does not take a lot of time, but it can really make a difference in your future because it can help you gain that education you've been dreaming about. The CTC Foundation offers approximately 170 need and merit-based scholarships, which provide almost 150 awards to competitively selected students every year. For more information about any available CTC scholarships, contact the CTC Foundation office at 254-526-1662. The Central Texas College Nursing Department presented its annual DAISY Faculty Award last week to Gerardo Priori, adjunct professor in the Skills and Simulation Lab. He was cited for his positive impact on students as nominated by peers and students in the nursing program. Priori has been with CTC since 2011. CTC is one of a handful of colleges and universities participating in the DAISY program. The Faculty Award is modeled after the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nurses. 
It was created by the Daisy Foundation to provide a national recognition program for colleges and schools of nursing to demonstrate appreciation to teachers for their commitment and inspirational influence on their students. The award is presented to nursing instructors whose expertise and excellence are demonstrated in their role as teachers of students studying nursing in schools and nursing colleges. Priori, a past nominee for the Daisy Faculty Award, received a hand-carved Shona sculpture entitled A Healer's Touch, created by the Shona tribe in Zimbabwe, Africa. The statue symbolizes the tribe's custom of revering traditional healers. Other CTC nursing faculty members nominated for this year's Daisy Award were Jacqueline Bird, Elizabeth Cologne, and Pat Vassbinder. The Daisy Foundation initiated the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nurses in 2001 and has since honored more than 6,000 nurses. The CTC Financial Aid Office alerts students who use financial aid about a possible phone scam. Callers claiming to represent the Department of Education have been contacting CTC students and requesting personal information in order to complete their financial aid for the upcoming year. The Department of Education, CTC, and other related agencies do not make such calls nor solicit personal information over the phone. Students are advised to use caution and not volunteer their bank accounts, social security number, or personal information over the phone. Students with concerns can contact the CTC Financial Aid Office at 254-526-1508. The CTC Center for African American Studies and Research will host a Black History Month celebration on Thursday, February 23rd in the Anderson Campus Center. The African American Experience, Building a Bridge from Our Past to Our Future, will feature guest speaker Dr. Leonard Moore. A meet and greet will be from 5 to 5.45 p.m., and the speaker will make his presentation starting at 6 p.m. For more information, call the CTC Foundation at 254-526-1662. The event is free and open to the public. Before we close, here are some upcoming events of interest.
Thank you for tuning in to CTC TV. We'll be back in April with more campus news, events, and activities for the spring semester. For Latia Blue, I'm Bruce Fastbinder. Thank you for tuning in to CTC TV. Before Central Texas College students start their real-world careers, they have to deal with real-world challenges. Before they choose the job that fits best, some have to try on many hats. And while devoting time to study, many devote their lives to defending our country. But even with these real-world challenges, they can accelerate their transition because there's a college that puts their future before anything else. Central Texas College, for students of the real world. Before Central Texas college students graduate into the real world, they have to deal with real world challenges. Before they find time for homework, some have to go to work. And even with their full-time jobs, many have children that need full-time parents. But despite these real world challenges, they can move forward because there's a college that puts their success before anything else. Central Texas College, for students of the real world.